Hello everyone, welcome. Hi, um, super special stream today, as you all might have noticed. Hello, welcome one in. I'm just getting set up, so, um, you know, we're, we're getting it together. This is, um, as I said, super special stream. I'm going to be joined a little bit later by Hey Harry herself, who's in chat already, to talk about her contributions to this campaign, and we're going to be talking all things Gucci, pretty much. We're going to be talking the entire Off The Grid um, collection, my part and Harry's. We're going to be talking Gucci Equilibrium, which is super awesome too. And we're just, we're going to do everything. We're going to do a tour of Harry's build. We're going to go through all the custom content in game. Um, I'm really excited and I hope you guys are too. It's going to be, as I said, super special stream and I am very much looking forward to it. Thank you for following Molly. Um, yeah, so... I'm Grim Cookies. Welcome. For those of you who don't know me, I think we are actually on the front page of Twitch Australia New Zealand tonight. So there's a uh, quite a fair few people more watching than usual. Um, I'm Grim Cookies. I make custom content for The Sims 4. I also do Let's Plays and a bunch of fun things like that over on YouTube. And you can check me out with my socials, um, which, are, which are right there. So yeah. Um, it's going to be a super fun stream, probably only a, about an hour and a half maybe or so. We'll see. We'll see how long it takes to go through everything. Um, so basically, if you have any questions about any of the custom content or anything like that, this is going to be the stream for you. This is going to be the place. Um, I thought it would be really fun to do a kind of interactive overview of everything. My YouTube video did go up yesterday and it has done so well. I've been blown away at the reception that you guys have given, like both of us, it has been overwhelmingly positive and I'm just, I'm 
very happy boy today. So, um, very, very exciting things. Um, so yeah, um, where to start? <laughs> well, um, obviously this is a collaboration between myself, Gucci and Hey Harry, and we've been working so hard for so long to bring this to you guys. And I'm so excited that it's finally here. It is so exciting. It is. I am thrilled and also very proud and also just very excited, which you will hear me say again and again and again throughout this stream because it's just been really cool. So, you know, without um, wasting any more time, let's get started. And I'll just give you a, a little brief overview with some of the images that we've got um, of the entire campaign. So here, uh, here's the the little little preview of the custom content that we have in game. It is a collection of its 11, I believe, build by decoration items for your games, and then four cast items. So we've got two pairs of shoes and two hats. And the awesome thing about the cast items, which is really cool, is they are available for all genders and all frames. So they're not exclusive to male or female Sims, um, which is really awesome. You can see the shoes and the hats there. Um, and then all the bags and the cute little decoration items are all, um, they're build by deco to put in your game and, and show off for your Sims. And, the, you know, my, my favorite thing about this is I've already seen so many people say that they're going to, they're going to do like Gucci, um, little Gucci stores in the game. Because if you have get to work, you can make, um, fashion stores and like sell items and using this off the grid collection that, that we created, um, you can kind of, if I just hide that, you can kind of like make a Gucci store and sell these items in it, which is really cool. And um, all of the items that you can put in the game have really great gameplay benefits too, which I was really excited about doing because I've never done that with custom content before. So they all give your Sims a major mood boost, like, like the highest level mood boost possible because I don't know about you guys, but if my house was like stocked with Gucci items, I'd be in a great mood all the time too. So your Sims will be happy when they are around Gucci items and they'll get a little moodlet that says, um, I think it's to do with the, the, it, it says something like this room is nicely decorated <laughs> from all the Gucci items and your Sims will, will be in a really good mood because of that. And I think that that's adorable. It's really awesome. And, um, that's really cool. Uh, if you also have Eco Lifestyle, the expansion pack that released earlier this year, you'll get benefits for, for, through that pack as well. Um, if you're not familiar, the, the expansion pack shipped with this whole concept of Eco, you, you know, your lots have an Eco footprint now and you can have um, positive and negative Eco footprint scores. Let's pause that conversation for two seconds. Hello, Emmylou. Welcome on in. Welcome on in, Raiders. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. I hope your stream is well. I saw, I saw, were you playing Minecraft? I think it was Minecraft, but I hope it was well. Hello. Welcome on in. <laughs> um, Emmylou Raid. I know. What an icon. Thank you, Emmylou. And thank you, Sol, for, gi for giving her a shout out. If you guys don't know Emmylou, very good friend of mine, fellow Aussie streamer. She's a, she's an icon. Gucci, let's go. Mood. Mood. Um, so basically what I was saying is if you have eco lifestyle, um, you have your lots have an eco footprint now and and depending on what objects you place on the lot it contributes either poorly or positively to your eco footprint so if you have um say you know generators and you're using fuel to power your electricity on the lot it contributes negatively to your eco footprint and it makes the world kind of polluted and gross and and ugly but if you have things that contribute positively like you know like windmills and solar panels it like makes the world more green and more lush and more beautiful and the awesome thing that ties in really well to this whole collection, the, the Gucci off the grid campaign is that, um, oh, you were building your house on my server. I love that. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to play. Um, so the awesome thing about the Gucci collection is it's made from recycled, um, bio-based and organic materials. Let me just check my wording on that because I want to get it right. Recycled, organic and bio-based and sustainably sourced materials. The actual real life campaign um, like the fashion line is made from, from those things, which is really, really awesome. And I talked about that in my video about how, um, how awesome I think that is like truly, because, you know, the fashion industry as a whole should be moving in that direction. And this is Gucci's first like big sustainably, um, made fashion line. And I think that's just a really, really cool thing. And I'm super proud to like be a part of the, the campaign to bring that to the Sims. And 
It ties in really well to eco lifestyle because all of these items that you can place in your builds contribute positively to your eco footprint because it makes sense because they're like good for the environment. They're sustainable, sustainable Gucci. Exactly. It is really awesome. And um, so, you know, if you're, if you have a lot and you've placed these Gucci items in it, your Sims will not only get a mood boost from having like a well-decorated lot, but also your world will be more green and more lush and more, you know, uh, green. <laughs> I'm running out of adjectives because um, all of the all of the items contribute positively to your to your eco footprint. So it is it is really cool that I um that I kind of because I've I haven't done that before with custom content. I didn't even know how to do it when I started making this collection, and like I I did a little bit of learning to see if it was possible to get that done in custom content, and it was, which is really cool because you know um. Obviously, we can't wear backpacks and carry around tote bags in The Sims, which is a little bit of a bummer, but what makes this collection of custom content awesome is not only is it just decorative to make your your homes look better, but it also contributes positively to gameplay because it makes the world more greener and it puts your Sims in a good mood, and it's just, it's just really awesome. So that's my custom content that I made. Obviously, we've got some cast items and some build mode. Um, <laughs> rich, but make it environmentally conscious. Yep, your Sims can really they can they can show off their Gucci, which is really really awesome. Because um, one of the things that not to not to do a comparison because these really aren't comparable, but with the Machino stuff pack, one of the things that I was a bit surprised about was your Sims couldn't really like flaunt the fact that they had like a designer brand clothing. It didn't really work like that that, that way. And I think it's kind of cool that with this custom content pack, your Sims react positively to the Gucci items around them and it contributes positively to the gameplay. And I think that's really cool. So be fancy and green, exactly. Um, so not only do we have the custom content as part of the campaign, I also recreated three of the real life images and I'm gonna show you them here. I'll get them open on my uh, computer. Give me one sec. Okay. Um, oh, Sol, thank you for the subscription. Oh, Emilu, thank you for gifting the subscription. That's so kind. Here we go. So, um, basically, you can see that this is the real-life campaign image of Jane Fonda, who is an absolute icon. I'm obsessed. I love Grace and Frankie. So, imagine my, like, pure joy and delight when I got the opportunity to recreate this in The Sims. So, this is the real-life campaign image, and then I can show you... Um, my recreation of it in The Sims here. And you, you can see, I, I, I didn't really like line that up properly, but um, it's, it's, I'm really proud of this because it, it was a lot of work, if I'm being honest, to get this right, because I spent a lot of time perfecting her because it's Jane Fonda and you want to do a, you want, her, you want to do her justice because she's an icon. Um, so, you know, I was really um, kind of like proud of, of that image and how it looks. I should move that into a better spot. Um, and it was really cool. I built a whole kind of lot as like a, a, a photo set to, to do this image. And um, it's not functional because I built it purely for the purpose of like taking this one photo. So only from this angle does it actually look good. The rest of the lot is like a, a mess of like green screening and like move objects on and all of, all of that kind of stuff. But it looked really cool. And then also if we, if we just hide that one, I can show you. This is the... Um, the still one of the still life images that I made. It's the background of the stream, so it's gonna look a little bit odd doubling up there. But um, that looks really awesome as well. And this is this is my favorite. I like. I really am proud of the Jane Fonda one, but I think this one just looks amazing. The shoes and the bag look stunning in this photo. And um, this is uh, this is just like an interesting little tidbit. This is completely photoshopped. None of this was like because you can't. We don't have a ladder like that in the game, and like you. It, like everything was photoshopped together so I had to like do a lot of it in, in photoshop like hand painting details so it was um it was a task I it does look like a magazine photo I was so proud of it I was so proud of myself for for doing it um yeah so you know that the custom content itself is it's not fully I've seen like people talking about it on twitter and stuff and I am a maxis match cr custom content creator obviously that's the custom content I make normally and this collection, it isn't, I wouldn't call it fully Maxis Match, only because it has a lot more detail and, like, high-quality meshes compared to, like, EA meshes. Not that EA meshes aren't good, but they're, like, it's, it's like, a very cartoony aesthetic, and I had to kind of, like, 
go beyond that in terms of detail to get all of like the Gucci like details because what's the point of making Gucci custom content if you're not making it like detailed if that makes sense so you know everything is like it's more it's like I wouldn't call it Maxis Match and I wouldn't call it Alpha because when you have it in the game it doesn't look out of place like it blends in really well and looks really nice in my opinion um of course I'm gonna say that I made it but um or I recreated it sorry but you know it's um yeah it, it I'm, I'm I'm proud of it anyway so um, that's the, that's the first, and this is the second still life picture, just to go through it quickly, it's the Gucci fedora, um, also, the debate over this already is hilarious, people, um, like, the bucket hat versus fedora, I thought it was a bucket hat when I first, like, saw the, the hat, and it, it, like, in Australia, that's what we would call a bucket hat, but Gucci call it a fedora, and I think it's, like, one of those things where it's, like, depending on what country you're in, and, what part of the world it has like a different name because to me it's a bucket hat but it's a gucci fedora it's the gucci off the grid fedora and it, it, it is really cute anyway um <laughs> that's a bucket hat yeah cool though it's um it's 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 a debate it's a debate and then there's the shoulder bag hanging up next to it that you can see that's really cute too so um that's that one and then lastly we'll also <laughs> we'll also um gonna go over harry's treehouse build which i have a photo of here too as well and you can see that this is like my favorite thing ever. I have been obsessed with this since the first moment I laid eyes on it. This build is like mind-blowingly high quality. The creativity that is on display here, like this treehouse, and it like when I saw it, I was like, I was like, this isn't possible, right? Like, how did you do this in The Sims? She the 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 attention to detail that Harry put into this is so good it is such a nice build and it's just it is really 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 high quality and really nice and i'm like i'm like wildly impressed um <laughs> harry did an amazing job as always because she's a ridiculously talented builder and custom content creator but this build is um definitely something special so later in the stream harry's going to get on call i'm going to talk about the process of creating that a little bit more um, but for now, I just wanted to give you a little preview. So that's kind of the, the entire collection. So it's kind of like three parts. It's the custom content that I recreated from the real life campaign. And then we've also got the, the still life images of Jane Fonda and the, you know, the, the still life of the objects. And then we also have Harry's build. So it's a, it's a multifaceted collection. And, you know, when you download it and the download link is in my YouTube description, I have a little Gucci command there. Um, so that's my YouTube video. If you haven't watched it, book yourself in some time because it's 40 minutes long. <laughs> I tried to get it as short and condensed as possible, but there was just so much to go over. So, you know, um, the download links in the description and when you download it, basically it comes with instructions for those of you who, are who have never used custom content before. It's super easy to install. Everything's laid out really clearly. So that's awesome. But, um, in the download included is both Harry's build and my custom content. So it's super easy to get them both in game and like play with them. And we're going to be doing that a little bit later and I'm really excited. So it's, um, it's really cool. If, if I, if I do say so myself, if I'm allowed to brag for a sec, which I feel like, you know, I can, <laughs> I worked really hard on this for so long. Um, did you ever thought you would have a Gucci command when you first started? No, I like, I said this to them the other day. I was like, when I first got like an email from them, I legit was like, oh, I'm just going to delete this. It's spam. Like, there's no way actually like that this is real. I was like legit blown away. Still am like, can't believe this happened, honestly. So, um, still, still really wild to me. So basically now briefly for the next 10 minutes before Harry gets on, we are going to talk about Equilibrium, which is this super awesome kind of platform that Gucci has built. And, um, forgive me if I get some things not a hundred percent accurate, because obviously this is just me like interpreting Gucci equilibrium, like from what I've learned about it, like it's not actually part of the collaboration. It's kind of just something that I want to touch on because, um, off the grid, the actual fashion line is part of their circular lines initiative, which is part of Gucci equilibrium, I believe. Um, so Circular Lines is kind of their sustainable fashion thing that they've started up. Off the Grid is the first sustainable fashion line 
and then Gucci Equilibrium is this platform that they have built. Um, I can get some information up about it. It's basically Gucci Equilibrium is their commitment to generate positive change in like the planet and the world and the community. And so it's, it's this platform. There's an Instagram, there's a website. Um, if you just Google Gucci Equilibrium or, or go to my Instagram, because I've tagged them in all of the recent posts, um, you'll see that it's like, it, and I was like, I was really surprised by this when I first learned about it. And it's, it's not Gucci like promo in their own stuff. They have like put together a whole platform to talk about things like social justice and equality and all of these like super important things that we talk about all the time, not only on my channel, but all over social media. And it's just something that, you know, the world is really invested in. And I was really impressed that Gucci had put this platform together to kind of like talk about all of these really important, good things. So Gucci Equilibrium is super awesome. I'm going to like show you a little bit about it. Um, just briefly, we're going to like jump onto the website. So here we go. Um, so I'm just on their about page. Let's go on to the main one. So basically it has, it's like articles and stuff. It's like, it's, it's kind of a mix between like a news site and, and like a, a blog, I guess. And you can see that the, 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 off the grid campaign that has, that has just launched is the, is the latest article, but they've got, you know, they've got, you can see some really like important, um, really just awesome like things on here. And I just thought I would talk about it because, um, obviously Gucci equilibrium is a massive part of this campaign, but it's also just something really cool. Um, yeah, I didn't know about it either. So I'm like, I think it's really awesome. And I'm really kind of like proud to bring this to you guys and like, teach you a little bit about it because it it's like, a, it's a really cool platform and they, their Insta, their Instagram account's really cool too. So definitely suggest following that. But, um, it's just, it's all these things about, you know, Gucci just kind of how they're being responsible in the world. Because, you know, if we look at like, um, how do I word this? You know, 10, 15 years ago, major corporations and brands weren't as like, um, accountable for their actions as they are in 2020. And, and a lot of brands have moved correctly and like, you know, amazingly in a good way towards being like responsible in the world and, you know, generating positive change because they have influence. Like Gucci is a massive brand. They have influence. And like, I'm, I'm just really impressed. And I think it's really cool that they've kind of like created this platform and, you know, that through the platform that they're, they're running all of these initiatives like reaching out to the Sims community through myself and through Harry to bring you guys this off the grid collection. Um, you know, little bit of behind the scenes tea here, right throughout this entire campaign, everyone that I've spoken to on the Gucci end has been so committed to like delivering something that you guys would love. It's it not once has it been about like, let's, let's promo our clothes to get Sims players to buy it. Like that's not at all been what it's been about. It is like entirely been about, you know, how can we do something really fun for the Sims community and also show off Gucci equilibrium and all the cool, cool, good things that we're doing in the world. Like they were, I'm, I'm really like imp impressed and proud of the fact that like they, they just care so much about like doing, just doing something cool and authentic and like, you know, by the players for the players, if that makes sense. And obviously this has EA's full support and approval. Like it would have been illegal to do it without them, um, obviously because of copyright stuff, but um, like custom content creators have never ever been officially recognized or supported on a level like this. This is like literally never been done before. And like, I am just so proud to have been a part of it because it's such a big deal. Um, yeah, it is nice to hear that big companies still care. And um, the vibe that I've gotten is really just like nothing but like positivity and like actually, you know, caring about like the players. Like they have been so curious about like, what do Sims players like? What do they like to see in like downloadable packs? Um, you know, this is a free downloadable pack, obviously only for PC and, and Mac, not for consoles. Cause we can't put custom content on there sadly, but, um, it's, it's just been like a really, really awesome process. Um, and I've been so proud of it because it's like starkly in contrast to different conversations that we've been having lately about companies that don't care about their players and their, their platforms. Obviously this isn't, this is not going to be like a negative let's hate on EA thing because you know, that's an entirely different conversation, but I am super proud to be part of this is what I'm saying. And, um, obviously you can see the little hashtag ad in the, in the description because I, 
I did get paid for this, but I would never have signed up for it and agreed with it, agreed to do it if I like didn't fully a hundred percent with all of my being stand by the message behind this campaign and like I'm I'm just super proud of it. I am because it it feels so authentic and right and like putting good things out there and you know regardless of all of that if you just want to throw it all aside and you don't care at all it's just a cool set of custom content to download and I think it looks great I think that a lot of you are going to love putting it in your game and like showing it off to your sims and you know doing some fun things with it so that being said one thing that I did forget to put in my video I think I forgot to put it in my video correct me if I'm wrong but I really, really, really am excited to see what you guys do with this collection, and I'm sure Gucci are too. So, if you do download this and take any photos or videos or anything with it, tag it as... as I didn't think of this beforehand. Tag it Gucci off the grid, like hashtag on the gallery or when you're posting on Tumblr or Twitter. Tag me, tag Hey Harry. Let us share it and look at it because I'm so excited to see what you all do and... I just think that's really cool. I'm really excited. I saw like um, Claire Chabon like an, less than an hour after it was up already was posting photos of her Sims in it and that made me so happy. So if any of you guys do download it and, and use it and take photos, please, please, please share them with me because I'm really excited to see because it's so cute. Um, it's already in your game, Alicia. That makes me so happy. Um, truly, truly so happy. Um, that, yeah, that is awesome. Grim Severs, hello! Thank you for the subscription, my friend. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Truly thank you. It is, it is amazing. I, um, like, today, I was, like, telling my family and my friends and everyone, like, outside of the Sims community about it, and everyone was, like, legit blown away, and it's really cool just to be, like, proud of something awesome, because I've never done, like, a, a full-on collaboration with anyone before, so it's, um, it was a very new, new process, and, um, it's just, it's just been really awesome. So, hey, Harry's about to jump on call with me in a couple of minutes, but if you have any questions about anything to do with this, ask me now, because I'm more than happy to answer pretty much anything, you know. Um, Gucci are 100% behind sharing the whole learning process of, of how this came to be and how I made everything. So I, my video was meant to include more of a, like the making of the custom content, but it was just, it was 40 minutes long as is. So I, ha I couldn't fit everything in there. But if you have any questions about how everything was made, let me know. And I'm more than happy to, happy to answer them. Um, we have a couple of minutes before Harry's going to jump on and we're going to tour her build in the game. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to get my game open really quickly. So while that's happening, I'll, I'll answer questions. How long have you been working on it for? I think it, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I started work in July. I could be wrong on that. I've like, it's, it's been a, it's been a minute. Um, because obviously custom content sets don't happen overnight. It has been, uh, it has been a, a, a whole process. Um, but I've had to sit on this secret and not tell a single person <laughs> for so long and it has been so hard as you can imagine because you know you want to share something like this with people straight away and I couldn't because it, obviously we wanted it to be a surprise so you know um so is this the thing with the big company you couldn't tell us about I think a couple of days ago I was like because we had to we had to last minute um push it back a couple of days so I did I posted I was like everyone I'm announcing something cool today stay tuned. And then I couldn't announce it. So I had to like delay it by a day, um, or a couple of days. So that, that's, that, this is the big announcement. So yes. <laughs> so, um, beyond serenity. I know it was so hard to keep it a secret, like not even like a hint at it on social media. It was so difficult. Um, like it was, it was, it was a, it was, it was a challenge. Let me just say that. Um, let me put my headphones on because Harry's about to get on call with us. And also, let me switch over to... Let me put um, Harry's Twitter up there so you guys can go follow her. And then also... Where is it? Here, let me open up my game. So, I'm going to jump on call with Harry now, and she is going to talk to us. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? 
Yes, I can. Chat, can you guys <laughs> confirm you can hear Harry? Hello. How are you going, my friend? Oh, it is so good. I'm yes. I'm so excited that Same. like we can finally talk about this. <laughs> I know. How awesome. Harry and myself, luckily we could confide in each other and talk about this project because let let me let me hide my game for a sec. When I tell you it has been such a struggle, and I'm sure Harry can can attest to this too, to keep this secret. Um, Harry's a bit loud. <laughs> let me let me turn it down a little bit. Um, it, we have been able to confide in each other and talk about it, which has been a godsend because keeping a secret like this is a is a nightmare, as I'm sure it has been for you as well, Harry. Like, it's has not been yeah. easy. For for a, for a little while at the beginning, like I didn't know what was going on. I didn't even know you were a part of the collab. Yeah, we, we didn't we didn't know about each other at the very start, and then I think a little bit in, we got, like, the confirmation that each other ha were working on it, and then I messaged her, and she messaged me, and we're like, oh my god, mm -hmm. let's talk about this, let's freak out together, and it was, um, it was really cute. But, um, it was, it was really nice to have you to talk to and, and workshop the custom content with as I made it, because, you know, usually with custom content, as I'm sure you know, we share mm -hmm. it with it, with our friends and through the entire process of making it so we can get feedback and advice and all of that kind of stuff. And neither of us could do that this time. I couldn't share my custom content with anybody and Harry couldn't share her build. So it was like, it was a, it was a learning process. It was, um, it was good to have each other to talk to, I think. I don't know if you found that too, Harry, but I certainly did. No, it, it is great to have someone to like, just bat ideas around and yeah. go back and forth and stuff like that. I just wanted to quickly link back to when you got the first email about this because mm -hmm. I had to laugh because you said like you were like oh yeah you're just gonna delete it <laughs> uh, same <laughs> yeah legit <laughs> when you when you get an email and it's like hey this is Gucci are you interested in working on something you're like yeah sure sure it's Gucci sure I'm like yeah sure <laughs> I'm just gonna have fun with this I'm just gonna respond and yeah, be legit. like yeah let's see how far we can take this and see yeah see I it. mean yeah. It didn't, it obviously, it didn't actually look like spam or anything, but like, obviously no. it's like a, as if Gucci are emailing me, contacting me. Um, exactly, like, you're like, Gucci, the Sims, come on. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, I'll, I'll show you guys on stream. I'm here in Create a Sim before we jump into Harry's build. Um, just to, just to quickly show you guys the, the assets if you haven't already seen them. So this is the, this is the cap, uh, the baseball cap and the Gucci fedora that a lot of people are calling a bucket hat. I am inclined to agree that it's a bucket hat, but I will, um, of course, respect Gucci's vision because I think I think it does depend on where in the world you are. I don't know, Harry, what you would call it. Um, I think if you're... I, if you're posh and sophisticated, it's a fedora. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere else, it's a bucket hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it is... Whatever it is, it, it's really nice and it looks really cool. It's I couldn't pull it off in real life, but I, I, I think I could pull off the baseball Ooh, cap for sure. Me, me, me neither. I can't, I can't do hats. I think a certain type of like me. fashionable person can do a, a, a fedora bucket hat, but I certainly could not. Um, I wear baseball caps all the time though, so. No, but you did such a great job with these. Oh, thank you. I, I really thank worked you. so hard, like, for so long. <laughs> um, and it was worth it, because I think they turned out really nice. They, they really did. Can I just say, because you won't say this, I'm going to say this to everyone here, like, watching, okay. that, that Grimm worked so, so hard on these items, <laughs> and specifically the renders. Mm. Oh, the my God, hours, yes. <laughs> the hours and hours he put into this. He probably won't let on like how many hours he put into it, but it was I... it was a lot. I yeah. pulled a few <laughs> all nighters getting this like done to the highest level of quality because it's like when you when you I'm sure Harry went through the same thing with the build, but when you're like recreating something that's like art because fashion is art and the photography campaign like the photo shoot with Jane Fonda and etc. It's art, like an actual proper professional photographer and models took those photos and were, like recreating it and mm -hmm. recreating the treehouse like Harry did. You put a lot of pressure on yourself and you want to get it right. So it was a, it was a lot. Um, but you know, it, they turned out really well, I think in the end. Um, these are the, these are the two shoes, obviously, um, the high tops and the low tops. Everything comes in the same color palette 
but um, some things don't have all of the swatches because I, I just kept it to what the actual real life items came in. So these shoes only came in the black and the orange swatches and these came in all four. So that's why the color palette is kind mm. of like the same, but some things have less and some things have more. Um, just to, just to clarify that, because usually in custom content, everything comes in the same colors. Um, so, you know, Sensational, it's actually available right now for download. It was available the second that it went up yesterday, which I think is really awesome. There's no waiting time. There's no early access. It's free. It's downloadable. It's up right now. So if you click that link that I just put in chat and then in my description, it's, um, the download links there. And it's also in Harry's as well. Um, what, which one's your favorite piece, Grim? Cool. Um, which one is my favorite piece? The shoes. I said in the video the shoes because the shoes are the uh -huh. ones that if I could have anything out of this collection, it's okay. the shoes. Because I think that they're like really awesome, especially these like black low tops. Harry, what was your favorite? Like if you could own anything out of the collection, what would it be? I'm going to say the backpack. The backpack is really nice. Yeah. I, lo I love the backpack and also the high tops as well. Yes. Those two. Yeah. High tops are I nice. Them. I, um, I don't, I've never really been able to pull off high tops, which is why I choose the low tops, but they, they both are really nice. So okay. I think we'll go summer because that's the nicer season in the Sims. Let's just, let's just plop her in here. I didn't show the items on um, a male sim because everything's completely gender neutral, so it just looks and operates the exact same way on both frames, which is really cool. I'll turn my game audio down because that music's way too loud. I should have prepared this before stream, but I was too busy freaking out about the stream. <laughs> Just breathe, just breathe. Yeah, legit. I I slept for about two hours last night after this went live because it went live at 1am <laughs> Melbourne time, which was a mess for me because like, as if I'm going to go to sleep after announcing a Gucci collab. So I, I pulled an all-nighter, which was worth it, but I'm absolutely wrecked today. I don't know about you, Harry, but I just have not slept yeah, at all just, for like just, a month. Just... <laughs> Uh, I think like yesterday, I think both of us were like messaging each other like, oh my god, it's really happening. Like, Absolutely. It wasn't real before, even though we had like a yeah, like, day where it was legit. meant to be released. It was like suddenly, I was like, oh god, now it's actually real. Yep. yep. And um, Harry, what's so, your origin ID, by the way? No, it is that one. If you just tick include custom content. Oh, uh, there we go. I'm a fool. Don't worry, I should, it's the I number should, one question I get. <laughs> as 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 a custom content creator, you'd think I'd know that. <laughs> but um I always forget. So, this is Harry's amazing treehouse build. I know, I know. We will save applause till the end because it is jaw dropping. But um legit, just look at that. Look at the way the sun comes down through the trees. That's gorgeous. Um, Harry, do you want to talk to us a little bit about how you kind of put this together initially i was um sent their concept artwork which for the campaign which was a tree house so it was hey build build this in the sim <laughs> and, and um i was like hmm, okay uh, i've never actually built a tree house before believe it or not this is the, my first ever tree house i've built and my first ever off the grid lot so um yeah yeah, it was kind of working with the in-game limitations. Like, their concept artwork was straight up and down. Mm. Like, the tree has was, like, stacked up directly up. And oh, uh, you I'm... can't really do that with all the levels. Yeah, legit. It's, um... um so, yeah, it was, it, was, it was kind of cool to work on this because, of course, the whole project is about sustainability and being conscious about things. So there was like an extra layer when I was building it of making yep. decisions about what items to use and things like that. Um, yes. And I used the tool mod to place your gorgeous yes, items. Yes. <laughs> which I thought was, this is, this is probably like my most, obviously not to detract away from the actual build itself, but I just was yeah. not expecting this attention to detail in terms of the placement of the items. And when I saw this bucket hat, kind of hanging off the side of this chair, I, yeah. my jaw hit the ground. I was like, wow, Harry has done a good job. 
Um, even the, I think it was Lil Simsy's video. Um, Kayla, Kayla did like a little mini tour of this and she was talking about like the, the tire swings that you did and everything. And just the attention to detail and the ideas that you had. I could never have thought of this stuff before. I don't know how you did this. And I think you don't give yourself enough credit for like the creativity and the ideas because for, for a first go at a treehouse, this is like, I couldn't do this enough after a hundred goes. Like that's the truth. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, it's just like, I, I think with this one, I just wanted to add in all of these little details to kind of make it almost like it could be real life because yep. we were talking about kind of real life issues. Yeah. Um, so it was, it was fun though. These, these builds sometimes, you know, you can get into a um, habit of building. Oh my God. I knew it wasn't oh. looking right. I didn't turn move objects on. So it's missing a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I was like, I think it looks odd, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you've got a missing door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, yeah, I kind of um, it was it was fun though, is because you get to be creative. Like not every yeah. build. Sometimes you're building like, hey, let's build a family home, and you get a request. Let's build a family home, and you kind of yeah. stick within yeah. um, the normal parameters of go. a build. Here we go. Even better. <laughs> Um, Sol yeah. asked Harry what your favourite, what was that? What was the favourite part of the house what for you was? Um, Maybe favourite room? Which one do you think is the coolest? I've got to say, I kind of, I really, this is a weird one, but I like the fact, this, this is a random part of it, but I like the fact that it's actually fully functional. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that makers. that is very impressive because and when you when you look at this, you think, okay, that's a really awesome build that uses move objects and etc. But I'm not going to be able to play with it because, like, you know, this is The Sims. How are you going to be able to play with this? But it legit is fully functional, which is crazy. Um, you did such an amazing job. There was a cool detail actually. Um in the campaign photos, which is they had like mi mismatched um, banisters uh, for all mm -hmm. around the outside. And that was so fun, just like thinking of combos and doing yep. different banisters because they're all different throughout the place. Yeah, um, you can see you can see that right here. I thought that was a really cool attention. To, and it looks it, it like it's eclectic. It's like messy, but in a really artistic way, if that makes sense. I am. Um, yeah, I'm I'm not the best with words, but amazing comes to mind when i look at this build thank you so much it was it I was think, just so fun to do yeah legit i i like i i don't know i'm lost for words i think my favorite part of it by far is this part like this top room because when mm -hmm. you, you can see that it kind of like hangs off the tree like that and like with the how you've kind of used the stairs to, to do the l shape that goes up it just looks so cool and it's so um it's not structured and rigid in the way that Sims builds usually are. Like it feels a lot more real in terms of like, it doesn't look like it's built on the grid that the Sims has. And you know, with the different height restrictions, it like, mm -hmm. I, it just, it just turned out really, really awesome. Um, I'm yeah, super happy with how it turned out and like things like without that stairs update, just imagine what this would look like. Yes, I know. <laughs> Um, the ladders as well, so helpful. Yeah, I, I, when I first loaded this up, I was like, how do you, do I teleport them up there? I didn't even see the ladder. Everything's blended in so well and it just looks so natural. Um, and just, you know, I, and, and it has my little Gucci custom content items. So when your Sims come here, they're just going to be in like a great mood all the time because not only is it a gorgeous lot in a gorgeous location, but it has, it has, it has Gucci items too. Let me, um, if the Sims 4 camera wasn't less crappy, I could show you everything properly, but it keeps jumping oh, around. Oh, yeah. I, I edited my um, camera so that it doesn't do that anymore. Yeah, I did that on my last PC, but I haven't been able to do it on this one yet because I forgot about it. But, um, it, 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 it's just, it's, it's very cool. Um, I, I just, honestly, guys, you guys are very right in the chat that are like, it makes me want to, like, make a Sim to live there because that's literally what I, like, all I want to do is play with this lot. Um, and like play with it because it's fully functional. It has all of the objects. It's got the windmills and the bug houses from Eco Lifestyle, and it's got the gardening and the the water reclamation things and all of that kind of stuff. And it's like this is a residential lot, by the way, not a park lot. 
Um, and usually, correct me if I'm wrong, Harry, but this lot's usually just locked to be in the Central Park, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is, yeah. So you can um, download a mod, I believe, which is linked on your Tumblr post to be able to actually live here. Yeah, um, Z- is it Zerbu has a venue yes, changes mod, yes. so you can make this lot into whatever you want, which is really frustrating that it's only ever a park, because this is just yeah. an awesome lot to build anything on, so yeah. yeah. That's like one of my biggest peeves with The Sims 4 is how some lots are locked to be like not livable on when I just want to live there because <laughs> yeah. the world's so pretty. Um, look at this lake as well. The boat. I didn't even know we had that boat. When I saw it, I was like, whoa, how did you, how did you put that there? It looks Power of, so of cool. Debug. <laughs> debug. Yes. We yeah. love, we love that. And this like little dock that's kind of like broken and falling into the river. The, the detail on this is just mind blowing. I love it. I've got to say, if anyone's like seen a build before, I love a natural pool, and yes. this enabled me to do to do natural pool like well. There's a pond. Can Sims lake. can can Sims swim in this? Yes. When I they play can? tested it, my Sim just my I use my Sim self to play test, and she just jumped in. Here we go. <laughs> Lilla Bella's gonna gonna go for a little dip. Yeah, there there is. They managed they managed to find their way in there. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even think of this until right now. That's awesome. So, yeah, I, I love that. And basically this build enabled me to, like, just go all out on landscaping as well, which is something that I yeah. like to do, so. Yeah, because it looks really, really good. The, the Like, the, the detailing in the landscaping is... Like, when I loaded this up... Okay, we're not going to Batu. If there's anything we're not going to do, <laughs> it's that. <laughs> Please don't think um, of that. Oh... Nope. <laughs> uh, um, what was I saying? The the landscaping, when I first loaded this up, I was so blown away by it because it, it looks like how the rest of the world looks, you know, when they're building it, they don't, they can just put mm-hmm. things wherever. And like the, the attention to detail in the world around the lots is always really good, but usually on the lots you're restricted just to build by. But when I loaded this up, I was like, wow, this doesn't look like a lot that someone's decorated. This looks like an actual real world that's natural. It's alive. Like it's, it's like realistic like the gardens are just gorgeous um i definitely have to say like pro tip if anyone's looking to up their landscaping game would be to use the debug uh plants because i normally try and look what's in the local area and use those plants so Mm -hmm. i even like if i'm building in windenburg i would filter by get together and go through the live edit objects that's so smart items that are in the world and it just makes it look so much more natural i think like the art style between debug like the world objects and the build by catalog is slightly different yeah like the world objects seem to be a slightly more detailed Mm-hmm. And whenever I want to do a natural one, I'm always going to use the the world plants rather than the build by ones. Yeah, that that makes sense, and I think that's how you manage to make it look like it blends in so well to the world around it is because of I think that. Um, it's just it's just super cool. I don't I don't know what else to say other than it's just super cool. I'm um, looking forward to actually using it. Yes, now that we have time <laughs> to like live our lives again. So time? Sorry, I don't know the concept. Yeah. <laughs> I um I like I, I make light of it, but like I think for me anyway, I you wanna get like things perfect and I I I don't know about like in terms of how many hours you spent on this build, but I'm sure it was like a fair few. Um mm-hmm. and like I, I it's just I don't see this build being any better. I think it literally is the like per- perfection. Like it's top tier um oh thank you quality build i couldn't think of a single change to make this nicer i could think of a few but it's okay <laughs> <laughs> i mean if I, I mean changes that we can act that we could actually make like if we had right. like features features that don't exist i'm sure i'm sure we could plus it even no, more the, but... the, the funny thing is like you were doing um your renders and stuff and i know from the campaign they had like stacked windows yeah. And when I did this build, th- this whole stacked window thing wasn't a thing in the yeah. game. Yeah. It and was, I was um, like, oh, you could have I, used that. <laughs> yeah, I spent so long photoshopping the windows in the renders I did um, yeah. to make them look like the real life Gucci images. And then the week after I finished them, The Sims released the update to place windows <laughs> anywhere. And then I could have just done it in two seconds. And it was, um, 
when I tell you that I, that I, I had a little bit of an eye twitch moment over it, it was, um, I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, fantastic. <laughs> that's, I, I that's can, perfect. I can, I can feel your pain on that one. Yeah. Um, but you did a really good job of making this build look like the actual Gucci tree house because, um, it just like, it, like I struggled making my renders to like get it accurate, but you've like, you managed to do it without Photoshopping like I did. Um, which is, which is super impressive. It's, um, no, I think, I think yours was a harder task. Your like one-to-one direct comparison. I yeah. think I had a little bit more freedom yeah i think i think you your build has i think a lot of your personality as a builder in it i think mm -hmm. it definitely comes across as not only the gucci off the grid tree house but it's hey harry's gucci off the tree build um tree house if that makes sense whereas yeah. i think my campaign images of course i've made them and i definitely feel like they've got my my aesthetic in there but it's more of like a, a literal recreation whereas yours is very much a hey harry's interpretation because i think the the Gucci treehouse in the campaign, they didn't, I don't think there's ever like full shots where you see the entire interior and blueprint, like in the way that you no, would need it, it if you're like... recreating it. You'd have to, you'd have to use a lot of um, artistic liberties to kind of like, to get it, to get it just right. Yeah. It's kind of like how, like in, in TV shows, they show like the outside of the house and then all yeah. the sets make no sense. It would yeah. never fit in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's literally like that, but I, it, you just did a really good job. Um, I, it, it's just such a nice build. It's just, and I'm, I'm blown away that it's like, um, actually functional. It's not just like decorative because when I first loaded this up, I was like, oh, this is really cool for, for screenshots. I wish I could play with this and I actually can play with it. It's, um, it's going to be really fun. And like, I, I could just imagine like a gardener sim or someone that uses like the, the candle making or, or, or all of that kind of stuff that came with eco lifestyle would go really well with this build. I think it even has some of the, um, like, I know it has the bug houses. Does it have the, the maker station thing? It doesn't have the maker station. It doesn't? Oh, okay. Of room for yeah, it. I'm sure you could put, you could, I mean, this lot is massive, so you could put it literally anywhere, so. It's, um, it's so nice. All of your Gucci items inside, your sims <laughs> are so happy. Like, yeah, all, legit. All day long. And this lot, um, as you can see here, it has a, a high eco green footprint because not only does it have all of the items from eco lifestyle, but it has all of the Gucci off the grid custom content pieces that I made and, and they all contribute positively to that too, which is oh, um, yeah, but really I cool. I forgot to mention like even like the wallpapers as well have a green eco footprint. Oh, they do, don't they? So this build yeah. would be really, really positive in terms of green footprint points. It would be like probably the highest it could get to, I'd imagine. I, I, I think so. Because like, I think, I think, because I did, I did like a full deep dive into how the system works because a, mm -hmm. a lot of it is left up to interpretation in terms of the system. It doesn't tell you how many points you have, etc. And I'm pretty yeah. sure it, it actually caps them based on category. So you can have wallpaper points up to a certain extent, but if you have more than that, it doesn't count. Mm -hmm. I think that's how it works. I could be mistaken, but, um, like I could imagine based off all of the, the, the resources and materials we've used that it has probably maxed out in, in terms of positive eco footprint points, which is really cool. And I forgot to say, I added in some lot traits as well. Of course, everyone can oh, change did you? lot Let's have traits as well. I don't know if they've carried through, uh, but it definitely is an did. off the grid lot. We've got eco, eco lot. So it moves towards eco friendliness even faster. It is off the grid, which we'd love to see. So it's not connected to the utility grid. And then it's also got the reduce and recycle lot trait, which is really cool. Um, this is a really cool lot for game, for gameplay purposes. If that, if that makes sense, which is, um, which is awesome. Yeah. I, I, um, I think like with this subject, it kind of allows you to play in a, a maybe a different way than you normally would. Yeah, um, no, uh, Alicia, there's like no the reshade rate. on. This is just how nice Harry's lot looks. <laughs> oh, thank you, the Curious Simmer, for the for the subscription. Um, that's really kind of you. But yeah, this this is no reshade. This is just how nice the lot looks because of um, it's got the a positive eco footprint score. So it's got the the sun rays coming down and and how um, just how nice Harry's build is. Um, it is it is stunning. 
Uh, Beyond Serenity, I was the exact same, taking notes for my building purposes. Legit. Um, I just, like, look at, I didn't even know that this, I, I, I would not know how to do things like this, and Harry's done it, like, super well, so. But we, we've been new. It's, it's, hey, Harry, we, we've known for a long time now that she can go all out in terms of builds, but, um, you know. Soul asked, was there ever a point where any of you thought, I can't do this? I think, and, mm, let me hide my game for a second and let's, let's real talk for a second. I had a little breakdown or two to Harry over messages, stressed out of my mind because I was putting like heaps of pressure on myself to like make it perfect. But I don't think there was ever a point where I was like, I can't do it. I think it was more of just a like personal pressures that I was like placing on myself to like make it really good because I was like, Gucci are going to see this. They're going to see how bad I've done and they're going to hate me. But it ended up being the complete opposite. Of course, like it turned out really nice, but you know, that yeah, was, I just, I think it process. was like your, 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 your pressure of like one, cause whenever you're doing something, you always want to do a good job. Yeah. And so it was like that pressure. Sometimes it's like when you're looking, you're like, Oh, there's so much work to do, mm. but it's like, just the pre but I, I think on this one, it was for me, I know your workload was slightly heavier than mine. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, I don't think there was ever a moment where I thought I can't do this. Yeah. I mean, I, I think like in terms of building, like, I think you're at like the highest level in terms of talent that there is. So <laughs> if anyone was going to be able to do this and do it right, it's, it's, it's you in terms of the build. Oh, thank you. Do you have BTS footage of making it? Well, if you go watch Hey Harry's video, which I can get, I can get the link for you right now, Alicia. She actually, it's a, it's a speed build. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I watched it. So I know it's a speed build. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was like, correct me if I'm wrong is if I didn't watch it like five <laughs> times while I was like, you know, getting ready for, um, for the launch of this. So let me grab the link for it right here. Yeah, I hope I haven't sped it up too fast and you guys get, like, motion sickness. There we go. No, I watched it and I thought it was great. Um, so that's the link there, Alicia. Um, so you can actually watch Hey Harry's entire process of building the, the treehouse, which is really cool, because you can learn how to do it yourself, which is awesome. Um, in terms of behind-the-scenes footage of me making the Gucci assets, I don't, I don't have any edited. I've got footage that I've recorded to originally include in my video, but my video was like over an hour long in the first cut and that's just way too long to put on YouTube. Um, nobody's going to sit through an hour long video. So I had to, I had to trim it down to get it as concise as possible. So um, I did talk about the creation process and I showed a little bit of it in terms of the, the Jane Fonda render. And I talked about um, texture compression and kind of working with really high quality Gucci textures and getting them to work in the Sims. But I, um, I didn't show any footage of me actually doing the meshes and all that kind of stuff because I thought um, I thought it was just it would just be too much on top of an already packed video, but um, you know, we would have watched an hour long video. I'm sure I'm sure the the Cookie Squad would have, but um, I uh, I I don't know if you've noticed this, Harry, but I feel like on on YouTube especially after after videos get over a certain amount of time, like I think the people just just don't watch it <laughs> in terms of yeah. length anyway. Um, <laughs> I think yeah, 40, I, I try and my 40 like... minute video, I think is, is double the length I would normally want a video to be. I think 20 minutes is around like the golden mark. Well, because I'm, um, let's just say a slow builder <laughs> and I always have lots of footage. Yeah. Um, like I try and cap my videos at half an hour. That's yep. what I try and do. But most of the half time, half an hour is good. 40 minutes. <laughs> See, I... I, the reason why I don't do speed builds, and this is the honest truth, I tried to do them when I first started up on YouTube, is when I, I sped it up like eight times to get it under an hour and you couldn't even watch mm -hmm. it because you just got motion sickness. Like I can't, <laughs> I would have had to split it into like a 10 part series just for one build. I'm so slow. Um, you That's guys know that I spend, I spend like a week building a, like a lot on stream in like, you know, two, six hour streams. Like I can spend like 12 hours doing one build. Um, I, I just can't build quick. I can I relate. <laughs> I can relate. Yeah. The, the, the only thing is like, 
you should have a go at doing speed builds again, but just you can't move the camera so much, but you can still speed it up to 800 times. That's smart. I like I, I, might, I always yeah. move the camera so quickly, and I'm like, I can't do that. I actually have to be slower. Because that's the worst really part, slow. isn't it? Um, it's like yeah. getting. It's like the camera movements when you when you speed it up really really quickly can um kind of make it a bit a bit hard to watch. <laughs> So, what's next? My brain is big empty today, guys. I got literally three hours sleep. Um, so, I'm surprised I've made it through this live stream so far. Well, I just wanted to say well done for, <laughs> <laughs> for pulling this off. Thank um, you. Your, and your YouTube video was so good as well. Oh, I was yeah, just I like, was God really damn it, it, why didn't I do face cam? It was I, put, so I put a little <laughs> bit of extra effort into the editing and um, that kind of... Because I thought it's... I mean, it's a Gucci collab, you know. We better go all yeah. out. So um, I, I I did. So Well, I noticed it. <laughs> thank it you. That's was, very kind. That's very kind. A1 plus. <laughs> um, so I'll jump back into game really quickly because one thing that I keep forgetting to mention whenever I talk about this pack is it's really easy to find the Gucci items in game. All you have to do is go to the search bar and type in Gucci and they all come up. Really easy, um, which is just like a really good way to find them. And you can spot them in the build catalog by the Equilibrium logo that's on them. Um, and that's carried over from the Equilibrium website that we talked about earlier and Gucci's commitment to, you know, sustainable fashion lines through the Circular... Is it Circular Lines Initiative? I think that's what it's called. Um, so that's why the Equilibrium logo is there. But it's got that iconic Gucci GG logo in there, which is, which is really cute too. So you can... You can use that to spot them in the catalogue, so they stand out. They're easy to find. So I can just place them all down now. Not that anybody would ever place a Gucci bag on the grass, mud, dirt outside. I, I think I'd probably... Sacrilege. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sacrilegious. <laughs> um, but, but, you know, that's you can find them all in the build catalogue really easy. You just literally have to type in Gucci. Um... Yeah, it's it's just really easy. And you can see they have the environment score of 10, which is the highest that you can have. I thought that was just, you know, it's Gucci. Of course, it's going to give you an environment score of 10. Like I, like, I could not imagine anybody not being that happy if they were surrounded by this much Gucci merch. Like, legit. These shoes, uh, I just keep, I keep looking at them. I'm like, damn, I like these shoes. They're so nice. Me size them up giant so we can get a little bit of a closer look at the details um time for a gucci giveaway <laughs> if i could afford some gucci shoes i'd buy them for me and then i would I've, buy some I, yeah. for a giveaway i'm i'm sure i've seen a comment on that on on uh twitter as well yeah someone was like yeah if you want to do a gucci giveaway for your subscribers and viewers <laughs> feel free i'm like excuse me get to the back of the line <laughs> legit um you know it's it, it's 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 funny isn't it i mean like it they they i think one of the things i talked about in my video that was really um that was really like an in, it's i don't know if you could call it a bad or a good choice but it's just a choice is everything in the collection in buy mode has the same price that it does in real life and i don't know about you guys but i can't afford to buy ten thousand dollars worth of gucci merch however in The Sims, <laughs> I feel like my Sims earn money like there's no tomorrow. I could be playing the game and all of a sudden they've got 20,000 simoleons and I've got nothing to spend it on. So You can have that Gucci lifestyle. You can have that Gucci lifestyle, um, which is which is really awesome. And, you know, it's 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 cool. Your Sims can, can buy all the Gucci merch in the world, which is, you know, nice. The game is great like that. You can become, like, super you can, duper rich you can really just quickly. You can just mother load it. Control shift C motherload um what cc piece was the hardest to make i can tell you specifically the shoes were the hardest to make by far because the mesh is so detailed um the poly count on these when i when i first started them was over like three hundred thousand. and just for reference a sims 4 mesh is usually like it's like under 20k for sure if if not even smaller some sims meshes are like five thousand. So I had to get I think it down. Like the rule of thumb is like a, a sim in the game is like 12,000 polys. Yeah, legit. So you can imagine a sim 
you know, if we look at if we look at uh, Lilabella here, let me just bring her down here so we can actually um, we can actually look at her in the Gucci shoes. But the whole sim, so you know, her shoes, her clothes, her hair, her entire body as well, everything would be around twelve thousand, like Harry was saying. And um, the Gucci shoes, when I first started, were over three hundred thousand poly count, and so I, like I had to get them down to a, a level of detail that was actually like they crashed blender when I was making them multiple times because the meshes were so large. So they were by far the hardest thing to make was the shoes because they have the most complicated and high, highly detailed meshes. But, um, after the shoes, probably the backpack, I think the major, the major struggle for this was the meshes. That was the, because, you know, I had to kind of strike a balance between staying true to the game's aesthetic and also getting a high level of detail in there because it's Gucci and Gucci items are, are very high detailed. Like everything in the collection has the the Gucci print all over it and when I imported that texture into the game, it was impossible to see in the native resolution of um, textures because it's like... 1024 by 2048 in terms of a, a sim's body and the gucci textures were over 5000 by 5000 just for the zip the zipper for example so um it was it was a whole process to to get them functional in the game and that's that's what made it so difficult um and so time consuming because literally i've never spent more time on custom content in my life um and i don't think i ever will again i don't think anything else will ever be as time consuming as this collection in a good way because it all turned out really nicely but um that's what I think what you did a, gr a great job though of like striking the like balance between the game aesthetic and mm -hmm. like the real life one so you kind yeah. of found like this middle middle ground thank you i think i think i did an all right job with like how difficult it was i think it you know probably could be slightly better if i'm if i'm being honest cuz you know I, I'm not the most... I'm not... I've not ever studied game design or mesh making or anything. I'm completely self-taught. I'm not an expert by any means. So, <laughs> you know. Um, I think I did all right. I think I did all right. And I'm, I'm I'm proud of it. Did you... Did you tell your families about the collab? If so, how did they react? Harry? How did your friends um, and family react? They were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. It was just like I was just like, yeah, but you know, I don't know if it's gonna happen. Like, like the early stage, you know, mm -hmm. the early stage. It's like, well, like I'm like, just don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I um, um, I, I only just told them yet, like today. What? Um, <laughs> my 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 mother knew because I lived with her, and she was like, "Why are you pulling all these all nighters? What are you working on?" So she knew, but like my. <laughs> my brother and my extended family and all my friends. I didn't tell anyone until, because I was like, you know, obviously it's like a, you know, what if it doesn't go, go ahead? What if Gucci dropped me because I, I'm untalented and not good, like, et cetera. So, um, Never gonna happen. <laughs> you know, it was, yeah, I, I, I kept, I, I sat on the secret as much as humanly possible and everyone was very, very shocked, I think, because, the the honest truth is the majority of the people I know don't even know that I'm on YouTube or that I'm like a Sims influencer person. Um, like I think people still think I work in a bakery because I don't talk about my job. So like everyone's first introduction is I'm doing a collab with so Gucci. Weird. <laughs> it is a bit of a weird job to talk about. Yeah, it's like uh, how do you I, how do you explain yeah. that to people? So. I don't really talk about it a lot because it's like, how do I explain that I play Sims full time for a living, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, without sounding like an absolute nerd. So, um, you know, yeah, that's, the nerd yeah, I have, I have these days. Um, I think, yeah, you know, I have, I think I have now I have, because I can be like, well, look where it got me. I collab with Gucci. So yeah, exactly. must be doing something <laughs> right. They don't know the cream cookies. Well, none of my my IRL friends and family. I've I'm I'm not like famous by any means, so I wouldn't expect anyone to recognize me on the streets. But maybe one day, maybe one day. I don't. Um, that'd be so awkward. That'd be so awkward. <laughs> I don't think I would. Um, I'd cope well. Me and my anxiety. 
I would just, um, I would probably just, I'd evaporate. I haven't had that experience yet either, and I don't have face cam in a lot of my videos. Mm -hmm. So, we're you're, you're probably it you're safe me. then. Yeah, I, I, the funny thing was, um, I got to go to EA Play last year. Yes. And it was like a gr it was a group of us simmers in Disney in Disneyland, mm -hmm. and um, the English simmer Molly got recognised all the time. Really? It was yeah. We're just like that's so oh. cool. <laughs> the people were like, are you are you the English simmer? And she's like, yeah. And she's taking pictures and stuff with people. It was just so. <laughs> Meanwhile, so... the thirty the thirty other Sims influencers they're yeah, like, the yeah, that's fine. Don't worry like, about just, me. Yeah, but they didn't even recognise any of us. Didn't get that she was hanging out with a whole bunch of other Sims. Yeah. <laughs> But to be fair, the English Simmer is pretty iconic, so yeah, I don't blame exactly. them. But um, that's that's hilarious, though. Wow, <laughs> what a what a what a story. Um, that's I I feel like she would have felt so awkward, but you know, that's the that's the price I you pay for she, fame. I think, for Sims yeah, fame. I know. I think she's used to it. You know, she's too famous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So. Just is there any more questions? Because I feel like I've run out of I've I've covered all the topics that I I wanted to cover. I don't know if there's anything in particular you want to talk about, Ari. I think we've I think we've covered it all. I think um another oh hold on no I've already talked about that. <laughs> uh, um. I just think it's really cool that. Two custom content creators. Obviously, you just did the build. You didn't oh, make yeah, any custom but, content. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's really worth mentioning multiple times that Gucci, you know, they could have they could have gone and done a, a stuff pack with EA. Like, you know, they could have done that. But they approached Harry and myself to give us the opportunity to to amplify us and put us on. Gucci's Instagram and Gucci's Twitter and and share our our talents and creativity around and I am just really grateful for that because I think it's like it's amazing like you know I to, I have to second that as well and I I think um the video's not even been out for 24 hours but like the number one comment is like it's so nice that a company like Gucci has decided to work with the community yeah rather than the EA and like, let's be honest, EA is actually yep. smaller than Gucci, so um, <laughs> like, <laughs> Gucci yeah. can be EA to make this possibility, but yep. um, it's so nice that they reached out and they were dealing with the community, and also it's kind of like, uh, people are say seeing that CC creators are getting recognition for yes. what they do, which and I also think is kind of like a weird one where EA can't really recognise CC creators, because yeah. there's the whole we're not responsible for if it breaks your game thing that yeah. they've got playing. Yeah. On the other hand. Which is, it's a, it's a com complicated dynamic and, yeah. you know, CC creators unfortunately have to bear the whole brunt of this kind of stigma against custom content because it's third party created and it's not official and it hasn't been tested in all the ways that EA tests their content. But, um, you know, it's just so incredible that this is like a a legit never been done before kind of collaboration. Like it's not just Gucci, you know, sending this out a hat and going, Hey, do you, can you wear this hat in your next Sims <laughs> yeah. video? Like they've, you know, custom content creators. And I said this in my video, even if it wasn't me, and I'm sure you feel this way, Harry too, even if it wasn't me and it wasn't Harry, but it was two other creators in the community that got this opportunity it is so awesome that it even happened and that it's even on a company yeah. like Gucci's radar to approach people. Cause you know, I'm, I'm just little old grim cookies from Melbourne. I only have like what, um, 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is actually crazy. Like that is a lot to me, but you know, I'm not huge by any means of the word. There are, there are influencers and creators with millions and hundreds and hundreds of thousands. And for it to be me, and it's just, it's, like, mind-blowing. It's so, like, um, amazing. Um, you know, it's it's a very, very good part of the, the kind of, the collaboration, in my opinion, that um, the custom content community is getting recognition. Because, you know, as you guys saw, 
the official Sims account, you know, retweeted Gucci's announcement and shouted me and Harry out and specifically said, look at these two custom content creators doing this. And that has never happened before. Like an official yeah. acknowledgement from Sims EA that custom content even exists. Mind blowing. You know, it's like, you know, it's, it's hopefully going towards more in the direction where custom content creators are recognized for the contributions they give to the community, the substantial, meaningful contributions that they give to the community. And, um, I'm very I, proud I think, to have been a part of that. I know. Cause I think honestly, it's, um, the CC and modding community is such a huge part of this game. Yeah. and make it what it is i think without them i don't know necessarily how many people would still be playing the game yeah without and that extra I think, layer i think people vastly underestimate how huge custom content community is vastly like yeah, i I've... it it's it's crazy the amount of numbers on downloads and stuff that like people you know like I make my entire living, like 95% of my income on Patreon from people that are supporting me for my custom content. Like it's, it's, there's a huge, huge chunk of the player base that love custom content. And that I think, as you said, would not play the game without it. I think it's, you know, and that's not a knock to the, to the game vanilla. It's just that people love the, the, the infinite options that custom content brings to the game. Like any creator can make anything and put it in the game in a day or a week whereas with ea it's like how do we fit this into a stuff pack or you know we can't yeah. put this in because it doesn't match anything else it's that kind of like the different um mentalities that go with making content i think like it's exactly. it's different because i i think also it's like as you said ea has to think about what wider scheme of things can i add this object into how long is it going to take blah blah, mm -hmm. blah blah they have all these extra factors and limitations and restrictions whereas a cc creator i'm just like hey i want this in my game i'm gonna make it yeah it's literally like, it's pretty straightforward <laughs> yeah literally i'm just gonna make it and it's it's really really straightforward and you kind of have more create well i know you definitely have more creative freedom yeah to do what you want to do and absolutely i think as long as there is a Sims game, there's always going to be a CC community because uh, the team just simply can't make the amount of content they that can't people make everything. Want. No, yeah, they can't make and, everything. It's and impossible. Even if you put aside the whole conversations that people have been having recently about the ways that the game is failing in terms mm -hmm. of representation and and shortcomings. Even if they were doing everything right and The Sims 4 was the best version ever, it had no issues, they would still not be able to cater to the custom content communities like once. And their custom content community would still be just as large as it is. It's not, it's not filling a hole that EA has left, which it kind of is, but it's not just doing that. It's, it's adding on top of. Um, and I think that... Um, I hope anyway that th that when people think of custom content, they don't think of fixing the game. They think of adding to the game, if that makes sense. Because we can we can peacefully coexist with the the game vanilla. It's not a it's not a versus or a or a one or the other, um, in my mind. No, and I, I I actually say there's a, like a lot of people when you do custom content, they're like EA could never, and it's like well. Yeah, they 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 actually have the possibilities. They have the capabilities doing of it to do it, but there's certain limitations, which means they can't ever do something like that. Yeah. So it's like it's like I I get that people are trying to be nice and say EA could never. Uh, I but it, it, yeah I I like to me I know that it comes from a good place, but I don't yeah. take it as a compliment as much as I would take like someone just being like, hey, this is really awesome, exactly. good job. Like it's um. Yeah. Like I don't like people knocking EA when they yeah, compliment you don't need to custom knock content. EA to compliment to compliment your work. Yeah, because it's like it's not. I don't because I love The Sims. I love the producers, the designers that work on the game. Like you know, as a as a game changer, I don't know them all personally, but I know them a little bit more than I used to, and they're all really nice people. And like they are talented and they do a good job. They just can't make literally every single idea under the sun because that would be impossible. And so, yeah. you know, 
I'm really I'm really proud to be part of a project that kind of I think moves the conversation around custom content forward a little bit, hopefully, um, to being more of a less of a stigmatized third party maybe contains a virus download that people <laughs> I think sometimes look at it as and and more of a you know player made contributions to the game. Exactly. But, you know, that's just that's just me. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Probably not shared by everyone. But, you know. So, that's been the, the stream, I think. I don't, I don't know if there's anything else to talk about, really. Unless anyone's got some more questions, I think we'll probably wrap it up soon. Because um, I didn't, I didn't want to go for, like, five hours. I probably could if I, if I wanted to, but, you know. <laughs> well, um, shall I leave you to do your outro yeah sure we'll we'll say goodbye to Harry here thank you for, for coming on by the way and talking about this with me thank you um, for inviting me because this is just as much my as, as just as much Harry's project as it is mine so um, you know I'm I'm thankful for you to, for you coming on and, and joining us for the conversation thank you for inviting me on and th and also just my chance to say like thank you for everyone for like such the positive feedback on this collab and just everyone I think the number one thing is that, like they're so excited for us both personally yeah it's really it's really wholesome able to do and cute. this exactly so yeah thank you awesome so goodbye Harry thank you so much for coming All right. on thank I will you. catch you later yeah bye so thank you all for coming it's been really amazing um I'm Grim Cookies you can follow me down below if you would like to i'd really appreciate it if you did um because i'm here all the time <laughs> um my socials are all there if you want to chuck me a follow on twitter or youtube or insta um my throat is so dry i need some water but um again i'm really really grateful for everyone to come and join me and spend some time with me today to talk about the gucci project um I hope you all enjoyed. I hope everyone likes it and downloads it if you'd like to, because I think it's cool. Um, thank you, Sol and Stephanie, for doing all of our commands there. Thanks for following Genie and Cat Scratch. You guys are icons. All right, let's have a look at who we can raid. <clears throat> um. I actually don't think I will do a raid. I just feel, um, there are too many people to choose from and I can't choose between them. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to end it. I think I'm just going to end it. Um, thank you all so much for, for coming and spending some time with me today. I'm Grim Cookies. Once again, you can follow me if you would like to, but no pressure. Um, it's been great. Goodbye. Um, have a good day wherever you are in the world. <laughs>